10 years of planning it, thinking about it, developing it, it's amazing. I'm a bit blown away actually by how beautiful the inside of the auditorium is. Where can I aspire to perform? This is the place. It's going to be a moment of musical history. I think it's going to be big. Burning bright with ambition, the fire stations ignited Sunderland's cultural quarter. Well, it's hugely exciting because we really needed a venue like this for, for goodness knows how many years. It's basically to help people in Sunderland be able to see uh, bands, comedians, dance theatre, but it's also to help the young performers in Sunderland and elsewhere in the North East to develop uh, and get on stage. Grown up in Sunderland and you know seeing most often what it lacks and what Sunderland isn't given an opportunity to have a place like this is is huge um, as an artist and also as somebody who just wants to see Sunderland's music seen flourish. My girl says I'm embarrassing and I've got to stop but I'm feeling more blessed than a pair of cotton socks. Sunderland hasn't had anything like this before. It's usually like the um, the ugly stepchild of the north compared to Newcastle which has everything there. This venue is just perfect for the city, for an artist like me. AKA my mother's favourite rapper. And it's also a chance for established acts, like field music, to play more home gigs. What difference is this venue going to make to you as a musician, do you think? It gives bands like us you know, something to aspire to where you're not trying to get out of the town. It's a serious venue, isn't it? It's a really serious venue, really game-changing kind of venue that any city in the country would be really proud to have. It would be a real like jewel in the crown. The mini concert hall is incredibly versatile. It has a retractable stage, removable seats, floor-level ventilation and, more importantly, top-class acoustics. The auditorium was designed by the same architect behind Sage Gateshead, so it has the residence of Hall 1, but also the intimacy of Hall 2. Think of it as Hall 1 and a half. I very much want the programme here um, to reflect the taste of the city. You know, people who are just on the doorstep want to come for a great night out, you know, good entertainment, but also, you know, really put the venue on the map, put Sunderland on the map for national and international touring, and we'll have some really great world-class artists playing here. So are there any kind of genres that you wouldn't put on here? Never say never. So, I mean, it is supposed to be designed for all music. Even punk? Yeah. Of course, like Sunderland's got a massive history of punk. Definitely. Say, Get those say. seats out and bring it on. <laughs> now the cultural touch paper has been lit, it's down to the artists and audiences to help fan those flames. Shurana Saga, BBC Look North, Sunderland.